What's poppin' everyone? My name is Jack and welcome to the ultimate bucket list. Six films to see before you die. I'm gonna give you a rundown of six films chosen by me and tell you why you should watch them before you kick the bucket. But before we get into the list, here's a few honorable mentions. <laughs> American Psycho, The Big Lebowski, Bronson, Casablanca, The Dark Knight, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Fight Club, Forrest Gump, In Bruges, Inception, Interstellar, La La Land, Mean Girls, Oakwood Creek, Pulp Fiction, The Raid, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, The Shawshank Redemption, The Shining Smash, and Train Spotting. You catch all that? Good. Now on to the list. First up on the list, let's just get out of the way now, it is of course, Star Wars. Arguably the most must-see film in anyone's list, not just this one. Star Wars is two hours of pure fantasy joy. A simple story about a farm boy, a pirate, and a princess. Star Wars is the first film in a now iconic global franchise. A mission to save the princess from the evil empire and return her to the safety of the rebellion before launching a daring attack on a planet destroying space station. It is an exceptional film on its own, but is even better as the introduction to the saga and a perfect introduction to this list. Great shot, kid! That was one in a million! Reservoir Dogs. Now wait, hold on, I see the way you're looking at me. I know it's controversial including Reservoir Dogs in a list like this over Tarantino's more commercially popular Pulp Fiction, but just hear me out. Tarantino's first film centres on a group of six men before and after a diamond heist goes badly wrong. We see them plan for the crime and then attempt to evade the authorities in a warehouse while trying to figure out what happened. With bonds being made and trust being tested, this film is massively influential and a true showcase of masterful non-linear storytelling. Airplane. Airplane is a slapstick satirical comedy film about a shell-shocked fighter pilot attempting to save a commercial jet after the pilots and many of the passengers succumb to terrible food poisoning. The whole film is full of surreal humour and the pun-laden dialogue is beyond hilarious, guaranteeing a laugh a minute. From a literal automatic pilot credited as autopilot to a woman who just needs to get a hold of herself. <laughs> Airplane is one of the funniest films ever made and well deserving of a spot on this list. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Up next, I've chosen Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. This film is just plain beautiful. Beautiful in visuals, beautiful in acting and dialogue, and beautiful in concept. Imagine a breakup so devastating you want to wipe the person from your thoughts completely. Upon discovering his ex, Clementine, has done just that, Joel Barish decides to undergo the same procedure. This film follows Joel as he relives every single memory of his relationship with Clementine, eventually struggling to hold on to the memories as they are erased from his mind. A blend of romance, drama, some comedy and a little bit of fantasy, this film is without a doubt a must-see. She's not looking at me. She's busy. She's not looking at me. No one ever looks at me. I want my mommy. Oh, baby Joel. Moving on, we have Stand By Me. Now, I personally have only just recently watched this film, but it truly moved me. Set in 1959, it follows a group of four 12-year-old boys as they journey across town for two days in an effort to find the body of a recently missing kid. This film is so charming, heartwarming and wholesome, but at the same time so deep, thought-provoking and damningly heartbreaking too. It is a perfect coming-of-age film with a lovely message of family, friendship and camaraderie. This film also teaches us that, hey, everyone's weird. Do you think I'm weird? Definitely. No, man, seriously. Am I weird? Yeah, but so what? Everybody's weird. And finally, the reason this list is a top six, not a top five, they live. Now, I went a bit left field with this one, but just hear me out. First off, I didn't want to cram this list full of junk you've been told to watch a hundred times already. And sure, I might be a little bit guilty of that already. <coughs> Star Wars. <coughs> but they live is a cult classic work of art. It follows a nameless homeless drifter who happens across a unique pair of sunglasses which allow him to see the truth. That the world is filled with subliminal messages and aliens disguised as humans. Come on, how can this not be amazing? The drifter joins the underground rebellion in an attempt to expose these other worlders and their infiltration of our planet. With a powerful message about consumerism and the 1%, they live as just as, if not more relevant today than it was when it was released back in 88. The five minute long back alley brawl between the stars Roddy Piper and Keith David, the crazy storyline and even crazier acting, the fact that contains the greatest improvised line in cinematic history. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. 
I could talk about this film for hours, but just take my word for it and go watch it. Oh. You see, I take these glasses off. She looks like a regular person, doesn't she, huh? Put them back on from Maldehyde face. That's what That's we got. That's enough out of you. So there you have it. There are way more films you should watch before you pop your clothes, but this list is a pretty good starting point. And in spite of the fact that you've had between 40 and 14 years to catch up with all of these films, I decided to crunch the numbers and I discovered that the total length of these films put together is 9 hours and 58 minutes. That's all. Come on, you could bust that out in a day. What are you waiting for? Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Now go watch those films. Cheerio.